What is a French start and how do we draft it? That is the question we are going to look into today. Hi, I'm Christina and I love to digitally apparel pattern making fun and unique garments for myself. And today we're going to be drafting and talking about the French start. So I'm going to bring up Adobe Illustrator so that we can get started drafting. Now the French dart is a dart that starts at the side seam low close to the waist and it points upwards towards the apex of that bust point. Now it can be curved or straight and depending on the different things, different styles that you do, you sometimes see a French dart <laughs> A French dart sometimes gets that excess fabric cut out of there to really create a slimming look on the bodice. So without further ado, I'm going to show you first a straight legged dart, French dart, and then we will pull up a second pattern and show a curved French dart. And if you are interested in following along, I have a half scale down below that you can grab so that you can also start manipulating and creating your own fun patterns in Adobe Illustrator. I also have uh, key commands when I pattern in Adobe Illustrator. I use key commands so that I'm not always searching for tools on the side sides and I can really finesse what I'm doing quickly. So the first thing that I'm going to do, actually before I go there, <laughs> I'm going to be using the slash and spread method. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial of how to do that, definitely check the link above so that you can see how to use slash and spread in Adobe Illustrator. Now, when I do a dart rotation, dart manipulation, I have to first start by taking that dart all the way up to the bus point. So I'm going to move that dart up to the bus point. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pen in the new bus line that I am looking to create. And I wasn't quite on that side seam. So I'm going to move it over and I'm just going to leave maybe a quarter of an inch. And this is half scale so that might even be closer than a quarter of an inch down at that bottom because I want it real close to that waistline. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut apart this pattern. So I'm going to cut right on that line and cut on that line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paste that line so there is now two lines right on top of each other. I'm going to select one of those, shift, I'm going to select the rest of it. Okay, so the whole thing got selected. So before I need to, before I can do any rotation, I actually need to ungroup. Now just that portion of the pattern will be moving. So I'm going to hit shift and select one of those lines. We're going to rotate it. We're just going to rotate those that dart open just like that. Super simple, super quick and easy. Then the last thing that you need to do is you actually need to pull that bus point away from the dart. A common size to pull it away is on full scale, five eighths of an inch. And on half scale, that's, ooh, I'm pretty sure that's three point point, not point point, three six two five. And we're just going to go at that angle and we're going to rotate it so that it is splitting the difference. I'm just going to get in there a little bit. Boop. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to move that bus point back out. So one and two. There we go. And then the last thing we want to do is get rid of these guys. Anchor point two. There we go. Come down here and we want to join. Join. And make that nice and curved. The last thing that you always want to check, especially when you're doing straight darts like this, but um, 
when you're doing mini darts, you want to make sure that those dart legs are the exact same length from side to side. So we're going to check this one. And not that button, that button. So we have 4.33 and 4.33. So that dart is the same. Now, if you were going to sew this, you could either make a choice before you go into it and choose to cut out and not have any of this excess dart in there. However, if you were wanting to have that, to leave that excess in there in case you want to ever change where that dart was going again, once it's cut, cut out, like moving the dart, once it's cut out of fabric, moving the dart is a little bit more difficult just because of how fabric interacts and where the extra fabric lays. So right now we'll have a lot of extra fabric right here, right at that waistline. If you wanted to change that up to the bust, you would probably be okay because this has swung out so far, but that is something that you want to make sure you know before you cut. So that is a French dart with a straight leg, with straight legs. So I'm just going to move right on over to this next bodice, and we're gonna now make a French dart with a curved leg. So we're gonna start with the same thing. I'm going to actually start by, are you grouped? I guess not. We're, I'm gonna start by bringing that point right up to that intersection. Then I'm going to create a curved dart. And how do I want, I think I want a lot more curve, kind of like, yeah, I'm going to do a curved dart like that. So same thing, we're going to highlight this outside and we're going to cut Actually, what I want to do is I want to make sure that's right on that intersection. There we go. Highlight and cut it apart. And then, yeah, it was grouped together. There it is. Now it's not. And then we want to do a copy paste, copy paste. Sorry. We want to do a copy front. So if you do a copy front, it'll be right on top of that and you'll have two matching darts just like that. The next thing that I like to do is I like to give myself, I'll do that actually after. So the next thing, we're going to do the rotation. So we're going to highlight this leg and this leg and hit the rotate. There we go. And there's the curved start of the dart. And again, we need to put in a line that is at least 5 8 inch away from that bust point. Again, that is very much determined on your bust radius. Uh, they all, like in a lot of books, they commonly start to say 5 8 start with 5 8 and go from there. If you already know that you have a little bit larger bust, you can always go a little bit bigger to start. And then I am going to rotate until that is moved. And that's actually looking a little, I know that's 0.3. That curve, nah, I think it'll be okay. So then we're going to move that line and that one like so. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make that I'm just going to, nope, I don't like that actually. Control Z, undo that. That is parallel there. I think that will actually be okay. So that line is 4.44. 5, 8. Now, when you're doing curved stuff like that, they don't always match and you sometimes do have to ease one into the other. And that is just part of 
how those darts ease. So when you're actually sewing this, you're going to want to mark out your stitch lines and make sure that you're lining up your stitch line to stitch line so that you get a nice ease through all out and you don't have just random tucks. Uh, you want to have that nice ease. And since we'll be easing in about um, just under an eighth of an inch, which is an easy ease to do, you might even want to just throw a stitch line in there to help pull it in for you. Uh, but you'll see that when I sew these two different French darts. So let's finish up this pattern. I'm going to delete that guy out, zoom in, and we're going to get these anchor points away. And we're going to join up and make sure that's a nice curve. And there we have it. We have our two French darts, one with the straight legs and one with the curved legs. Definitely check back soon and you can see how these two are made in half scale and I will have them up on my form so that you can see the difference on how they look. French darts are such a fun way to add a different type of style to your garments. They are commonly used in, uh, back in like the 50s and 40s and 30s, so they're kind of more known for like that historical aspect. Um, and it's just that creates that really nice line that I think is a very flattering line on a lot of people. So next time, maybe when you're creating a pattern, pattern, maybe think about adding a French start to it. Definitely like and subscribe if you are interested in learning more how to digitally apparel pattern in Adobe Illustrator so that you can create your own patterns on the computer. It is so much fun and definitely grab those key commands down below and check out some of my other dart manipulation series here. And I look forward to seeing you in some of my other videos. Happy patterning!